In this um, video I want to show you how to paint um, a sunset. It's something a bit different. Uh, rather than just um, you know drawing the horizon line and um, doing all the foreground and um, in a conventional way, this is this is something a bit different. It's it's, it's almost painting backwards if you like. Um, I've prepared a board. Now you must make sure that the board is completely dry. Otherwise, when you start this process, the the paint has a tendency sometimes to lift off or just blend in with the with the colour that you're putting on. Um, I don't worry about too much um, trying to be accurate. I just put orange and yellows and a bit of white, a bit of Naples yellow. Just mix them all in together. Just um, do it very roughly, almost like an abstract. Uh, the next process, um, we're going to put the um, dark colours on. I uh, use uh, violet, uh, burnt sienna, a bit of orange, Naples yellow, a bit of red. I only do small amounts. Um, to start off with. Don't um, put too much paint out <coughs> to begin with. Um, now this process you must use either transparent colours or semi-transparent at the very least otherwise it's just not going to work. Um, I'm not going to, the, the video might be a bit disjointed but it's, um, I want to show you the process of this. It's just a bit of fun, that's all it is. It's just an experiment. You can use different colours. You could have painted to blues. You could have done a sunrise. Um, Perhaps we'll do one of those later, but um, you can do do all sorts of different colours. It's up to you, really. There's no right way, no wrong way of doing it. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Right. Again, don't uh, worry too much about uh, what goes on. Now it goes on. If um, during the video you hear a noise like um, a droning noise, uh, we're having houses built over the, the, the back of our place and there's a little tractor that goes up and down the road all day long. So I can't do anything about that, uh, but I hope it won't spoil anything. Right, as I say, you don't have to be too uh, too particular. Right, now you've got to wait for this to dry a little bit. That's very, very wet. I've, I've put quite a lot of paint on there. Um, wait about at least three or four minutes before you do the next process. Right, it's starting to go off a little bit now. Still a, a wet in places. Now you don't want it to be fully dry, but you don't want it to be um, too wet. Now I haven't uh, washed the brush out. Uh, although I suppose it doesn't make any difference, but I, I tend not to wash the brushes out at all. Now the next step, put some water on the brush about, it's probably about just over a quarter of an inch there. Um, it's better to make sure that there's not too much to start off with. Now decide where you want the horizon line, so we want it about there. And this is going to be the, the clouds here. You don't really, again, you're not really trying to do anything in particular. What you want to do is to just play around and see what comes out. I guess it's... Um, an extension really of that old whoever it was who used to say well the painting's already there and all you've got to do is bring it out uh, so I guess this is something along those lines I guess uh, there's a horizon line we'll make that horizon line there Now it's best to use a paper towel just to wipe off the excess. Now 
just keep working the brush backwards and forwards, feathering, adding paint. As I say, you can't can't really make a mistake. All all that happens is sometimes I've all you do is just end up pushing the paint around the, the board and after a while you realize that, that, that nothing's going to come out of it so I, I stop. I'll show you one of those a bit, a bit later and what you can do to, to remedy it but again it's not a mistake there's it's just the way it is it's just sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and when it does work it's uh, very satisfying and then create a bit of rain coming down there as it touches the horizon Now you get to a point where, where you have to leave it to um, to dry completely before you go on to the next step. But while it's still wet, you can you can play around. You can uh, create different shapes and get rid of that line there. You could even put a bit of black in it. Now what I want to do is just put a bit of water on the, uh, the paper towel. To leave that now just to, that's the next phase we've got to leave that till it dries a little bit more this has gone off now quite a quite a lot it's it's completely touch dry but um, it's still very tacky so when the water goes over it we start doing um, bits where you'll find that these colors will start to um, to blend in but it's dry enough really that um, you can go to the next next phase um right so what should we uh, what should we do um we'll just add more bits and pieces to the foreground here As I say, it's uh, sometimes you can do this and it doesn't look right. Don't be afraid just to keep making changes. If it's not going right, if you're not happy with it, just just dump the brush into the into the water and just start swirling it around, and you'll find that the whole surface of the the paint will will um, loosen up, and you can change everything around. Don't get hung up on being stuck. Well, part of it's all right. I like this bit. Or just just change the whole thing. start to change the whole thing I'll show you what happens if you put lots of water on although it felt dry the surface of the paint will start to some of it will and some of it won't because some of it is drier than others um, depending on how thick the paint is in certain areas of the board which can create other effects as well quite interesting effects so we'll do that Feather it backwards and forwards. Get our uh, paper towel. Better. 
these clouds here's a line of clouds in the distance with the sunset over the top just dip it a bit into the water not too much it's always better to keep adding water than than having to try and shoot the stuff off the brush so that it's clean water As I say, you're going to hit the same problem shortly because of um, we've now wet the whole thing again. We don't want it to be too. Uh, everything is just going to start running into one another. So we'll wait just a little bit more. Now we'll just do this. Uh, feathering that's too much of a blob there right well that's coming along let's leave that just for a minute I have decided to uh, develop this a bit and I was looking at it and uh, I thought well there's, I could start to see a few things in it so I thought well I would have developed it later but I thought well I'll just show you a few little bits Again, this is really the same as you know doing the other clouds. It's just you're just using different colours. That's all. But uh, um, I try to to keep the same same tonal range. I shouldn't have introduced the little purple bit there because it started to look a bit odd. So we're just using red and burnt sienna, basically. And all you try and do is try to use the, the, the markings that were there, that what came out, use it as like a guideline and just develop them. Add things, cover some of them. And a bit of... Uh, Uh, 
quite a few clouds. It's amazing really just what different different colours and a few squiggles can do. The painting now is um, completely finished. It's been finished probably for about um, five or six hours, so it's 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 quite dry. But you'll be surprised really how how loose it is underneath. If you put water on it again, you'll find that it uh, it will activate it again. I want to show you because sometimes, as I said, this isn't an exact science. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I mean, this is this is okay, but the more I look at it, the more I think, well. Not quite right somewhere. So all you've got to do is the same thing that uh, we did earlier, and that's flood it with water. Sometimes you can do it, and you find that the sky is all right, but the um, uh, the background is uh, the foreground is is no good. I don't try and complete everything all in the one go. Sometimes I'll, I'll do this and I'll do the sky and the sky's okay but the, uh, the ground isn't so I'll leave it three or four days until I I look at it and have another go at it and vice versa. Sometimes the foreground's all right but the um, the top isn't. Right, let me show. Now this is painting wet onto the wet. There you can just take this stuff right off. This is why I say you can't make a mistake. You can't um, <clears throat> uh, do it wrong because you just just if you're not happy with it, you just um, take all of, all this off. Because it's a combination of the water and the and the fresh paint itself, which is um, removing the old paint. Some of it is, as I say, is is drier than others, parts of it drier than others, so it takes a bit more effort to get rid of it. Right, let's have a look at that and see what we've got. A supply of these uh, paper towels handy. Right now, that's cr created another sunset. There's a nice line of clouds, a bit thinner, but they could be developed. Um, yes, that doesn't look too bad at all. So we'll just wait a, wait a little bit for it to dry a bit more. Right, this is drier now. Certainly dry enough that we can start adding a few little Highlights. As I said uh, before, um, if you're not happy with it, and I wasn't, I was looking at it more and more, and I thought, no, I, I just didn't like it. So don't be afraid to to attack it, because you've got to look at it from the point of view. Well, if it's, if it's no good to begin with, and you're not going to make any damage to it, you can only improve it. Bit of, uh,
I'm not really going to muck around with this too much at all. I'm quite, uh, I'm quite happy with the way that looks. Certainly the sky. Just add a little bit of highlights somewhere. I think the problem with the, the early one was it was it was overkill. There was too much. This is a bit more subtle. Right, I'm just going to leave that. But again, it's um, as I say, if you're not happy with something, just keep changing it until you do become happy with it. Um, the more you're afraid of it, and the more you you're um, you know set in your ways, or you know set to think it's, it's okay. Don't live with anything that's okay. Just keep changing it until you you are happy with it. Well, I'm becoming more happy with it. I could keep going, but as I say, this this is the process of that I want to show you. Um, it's up to you what you do with it um, to develop it, but um, I think that'll be it.